We've all been there. You've hit that shank and you're worried it's going to turn into a mental problem. If you do more than one, here's a good way you can practice to make sure it doesn't happen again. First off, when you shank the ball, a true shank is hit off the hosel of the club. Make sure you're shanking off the hosel of the club and not off the toe of the club. But if you're hitting off the hosel of the club, what's happening is your swing is going out too far past the golf ball. You're starting off in a good position, but you're returning out too far, and that puts the ball toward the hosel. Take something and put it down just outside the ball. I've got my driver head cover here, and I've given myself just enough room to make sure that when I swing the club, if I miss the head cover, I'm guaranteed to get the ball somewhere in the club face and not on the heel of the club. You could put a row of tees there. You could put a, an empty plastic range bucket there, maybe an empty uh, water bottle. But make sure you have something out there that when you swing, you can avoid. And as long as I miss that head cover, there's no way in the world I'm going to shank one off the heel. Make sure you practice that and the shanks will be gone forever.